Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time. Wailing and sailing and something frosty air. It's the right time for the right time to rock the night away. Jingle, jingle bell, bell time, time. go to hell. Time. Time. Okay. <laughs> so, well, I was just having some fun with the lyrics. Keep yeah, it creative, keep it fresh. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. egg. Yep, Bat I've heard that. Okay. Well, Hi, welcome to Wacom, Texas. I'm Chris Kerr, and I'm here with I, Jay Myers. And this is a special Xmas episode. All right, let's get started. You don't have any problems with the episode, right? Wait, you okay with it? Yeah, Christmas. No, Xmas. Uh, not well, X you know that Xmas. I am not okay with that because I've told you this already. All right. It's you a special time when on. a fat man with a beard named Jesus comes down your chimney and eats no. your cookies and milk and leaves you a Bible under your tree. Uh, All right. Let's get started. Okay. Well, that is not the case. So this so. is tis the season for uh, Jesus is the season for the reason. That's All right. the first on thing that I want to make sure Xmas. we start on Christmas. You're just doing this, Chris. No, on, on Xmas, a okay. little no baby was born in a manger, and his name was Jesus. Santa. Oh no, Santa was actually a mis, uh, no, little baby. mythical creature or mystical creature. Little baby okay. named. <laughs> little baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, clothes lying in a manger, wearing big black oh, boots. Come, my faithful. A little baby wearing Enjoy black boots, him. wrapped in swaddling okay, clothes. Whoa, he wasn't wearing boots or a hat, Chris. And a little baby born in a manger with icicles in the North Pole. Uh, okay, no. <laughs> he was not born, born in the North Pole. Most likely, he's probably born in Israel. Uh, in the land of Nazareth. Oh, man. Some, oh, dude. Or, dude, what happened? It looks okay. It still right. looks good. It still looks good. Oh, okay, a little baby born in the North Pole, which is somewhere around Sweden, I think. Joyful in triumph. In a manger. And then there were three wise men coming to bring him gifts of frankincense. Wait, of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three wise men. Or three wise elves. Uh oh, he's got cheese all over these. Dude, are you eating? Dude, you're going to be animating soon. I know, but I'm back from the mic. I can't do it. Finish that stuff up. It's fine, dude. Right. What is that? No, is there so, an easier why is it? Is there an easier way to draw these? Like a control Z, control V? No. Oh, maybe. No, 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 I don't know how to do that. Um, now, the three wise men were known. Wise elves. We didn't know their nationality, but we're pretty sure they were just called wise men, biblically speaking. Wise elves. They were men. No, they weren't elves. In the North Pole. Not in the North Pole. They were in the land of... One time, like, um, of, Jesus uh, came down the chimney. Uh, Nin Narnia. And the I mean, uh, my mom Nazareth. made. And went in and ate all the Oreos, too. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Chip just got my gum, dude. Ow. Ow. All right, so I've got the three wise, uh, wise elves. Men. And I'm going to... They were following a star... In the sky. Which is the okay. star? That's the star and of David. That is actually a okay, you've got that's a Jewish religion, and they celebrated Hanukkah. And there were animals in the stable. Is that a moose? No, namely. Now now Rudolph. the Jewish Rudolph. The Jewish persons don't celebrate Christmas. I knew a friend in high school who would never get Christmas presents. He would get presents. Rudolph the buff ass. No, somehow. Rudolph the buff ass reindeer. Okay, well now you're blaspheming on probably the most holy day of the year. All right, and I'm Second about to most turn holy this day. over to you. You can animate the birth of our savior, Santa. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, I put it away. Put my mall stick away. And let's animate this. Now, I actually... What are some of your Christmas traditions? Oh, little town of Santa Land. Santa Land. Bethlehem. Santa Land. Oh. I used to go to Santa Land when I was um, a kid that was in Indiana. I used to hand out maps. It was like a hand-painted map of Santa Land. We did something a little bit different in our household. We would actually have hmm. a... 
play where we would play the different parts of the Jesus' birth. My oh. dad wouldn't dress up as Santa. He my would actually would dress up family... as an older Jesus with oh. a beard. Your and dad... he would bring us gifts. Mm. Your dad always looks that way. My he dad does. would get out the Bible and say, we're going to read the Christmas story. And they would go, psych. Oh, okay, that's not funny. On the first no. day of Christmas. My true love gave to me. Man, I'm getting pumped. I want to see this tree. animated. You have any idea what you're going to do? Tree. Yeah, I do. I think we're going to try to commemorate Jesus' birth here properly by mm. showing the three wise men bringing him gifts, which is what the gifts are about on Christmas time. So mm. you're actually bringing gifts to Jesus and not yourself. Did I ever tell you that I got robbed um, on Christmas Eve when I lived in Chicago? Seriously? Yeah, this dude was like coming in my house. Seriously? You know, like, yeah. And he was like, oh, Merry Christmas. You caught me. I'm Santa. I'm like, you don't even look like Santa. Get out. You're like, trying to rob me. Hmm, I've never heard that story. Yeah, I had to call ADT and then my alarm reset. It's crazy. We uh, made some cookies, though. Fine. We, I think one of the police came. One of my other favorite memories about Christmas is the carols, of course, which we try, we sang at the beginning of the show. And are you going to make I, the um, three wise elves get a little closer? The three to wise Santa? men are going to get closer to Jesus. That's uh, big Santa. Well, maybe you should. I'm sorry, what were you saying about your Christmas? We would go caroling. Oh, wait, was that what I said? We would. Hey, we got a text from a previous visitor on the show. That must be Philip. That would be Philip Bonsweck. Who and turned my show, or this, I'm sorry, our show, into a little bit of a joke? A little bit of a mockery. But okay, he says, Oh, you do agree now. Someone, That's I won't mention I the that, woman's really. name, told me the end of the world is coming. Can you open the studio, Wacom Texas studio door, so I can kill James? Yeah, right. Okay. Oh. That's it's a little inside joke. Wow. What does that mean? It's a little inside joke that if the end of the world comes, Philip's going to stab me. But that's just a joke. It's kind of... I might want to get in on that. Well, it's just a joke. So. Uh-oh, wait. I don't think I did that right. There we go. Now we'll do it again. So we're going to have the star spinning around because it is symbolizing, like, the signal that the three wise men took to come find Jesus. They followed the star mm -hmm. and found Santa Jesus. Santa would have been part of the Manson family, he would have written Helter Skelter and like um, okay, well, candy, that's cane, just disgusting. candy cane juice on the wall. Okay, that's really gross. All right, sorry. Okay, we'll have a stop right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, what, uh, how'd you do that? So let's see how, how, how that works. Perfect circle? Well, I don't know, let's see how that works. You know, only, there's only two people I know of that can draw a perfect circle like you just did. There we you go. And so Leonardo that's... da Vinci. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Oh, no, no, because we got to wait until the whole thing's done. That was right. just a little bit of a tease. Oh, this is good. Hecky. We're trying to do now three layers. We did this last episode, and we're going to do it again this episode. We're trying Just to basically... Three, um, oh, well. three elves. Three, three elves. layers for three elves. Uh, well, I mean, three, 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 three wise men. So that's pretty funny. And the reindeer so. has three um, lumps on each side. The antler. Yes. Well, so we want to make sure that they're not... So they're getting close Whoa. to see Jesus. Because as we talked about in previous episodes, the closer something gets... The bigger it gets. Exactly. Perspective. It's called atmospheric perspective. Okay, so I think this should work. Oh, We're good. almost done with our animation, Four and I hope that you guys are following along You're with these. Better. I feel like we really... Uh-oh. Dang it, it did it again. Let me do this again. Hold on. Come on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I keep Dude, doing seriously? that. I'm serious. Hold on. Okay, so chroma key there. So what I'm doing is setting the chroma key, then coming to the end and setting the action for the chroma key, which is I want these guys to grow. And then set the end chroma key. So the beginning, we don't want the wise men. Like we got a lot of momentum when I'm starting to second guess. Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So. Does he know what he's doing? I do know what I'm doing. It just messed up. All right, here we go. Animate this. So the star. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's awesome. So that's three layers, oh, which I wasn't sure I could do. Yeah, really close to but baby they, Santa. They are getting it's. <laughs> They're like in baby Santa's face, like well, baby Jesus's face. Here's and they're your coming to visit him. frankincense and myrrh. So and that was a three-layered animation. 